The announcement on capacity limit changes on June 1st comes as schools get ready for their graduations. News 8's John Dommel is talking with schools about what they're planning. John? Brian, most school districts in West Michigan have their senior commencements in May, and it looks like they're sticking with the status quo. It's almost like we're being whipsawed back and forth. Rockford, Jenison, and Holland Public Schools all say that they're sticking with the plan and will not be moving their commencements into June. I mean, this is far more difficult than just planning some party, at, at, you know, at somebody's home and so forth. It takes a lot of planning to do it right. And we're, we've done it right last year. We proved that through a drive through and we're going to do it right this time. Rockford's drive through commencement allows graduates to bring as many people as they want, and the district feels that's the best option. A lot of people put a lot of time into this, and I've talked to parents who have said, we've already invited family members to come. Are you going to change this now to June 1st? And then people flying in or, you know, driving to come. Uh, plans have been made. Over in Jenison, its commencement on May 27th is at the football stadium anyway, and the capacity change would be easy to adopt. When you have all these graduation ceremonies happening just a few days prior to that June 1st, um, it hurts. And because of a difference of four days, its graduates will have to pick and choose which family members are able to attend. I'm just disappointed um, that somehow an arbitrary June 1st date was selected to um, to allow for you know unlimited outside um, connections and for us not to be able to have that for our seniors, uh, I can't tell you how disappointing that is. And as for Grand Rapids Public Schools, the superintendent said that it's working with the county and trying to expand the number of tickets that graduates are able to have for their families, and they're hoping they have a plan for that early next week. Live in the newsroom, John Dommel, News 8.